Hey guys, so today I'm going to be explaining how to, uh, what is it? Oh yes, sprite animation. Basically, on Scratch, you can use uh, certain sprites and on other programs, but I'm just going to be using Scratch today because it's easiest to explain. And so um, I'm going to be explaining how to make this guy do, you know, things like kicking and all that. You know, if you're into that type of stuff. stuff. So let's start. All right, when that's clicked. Now, what we want to, so basically, we have costumes for this uh, sprite right here. And so, whenever uh, we change it into the next costume, it's going to, you know, change it how it looks. So, I'm going to change it from that to that. Now, after this, we can basically get the general idea that if we want to make them, you know, move, we can just, whenever we click the start button, uh, forever go into the next costume, and it'll look something like this. As you can see, it's moving, but it's moving too fast. Unless you want it to move like that. So, we'll have a wait one second. But, wait one second there. But now, whenever we, uh, load the, the game, it's moving very slowly. So, what most people generally like to do is that they would either like to put 0.1, or 0 0.05, such as that, all right, or 0.1. Well, now, after we put 0.1, we can start it up, and uh, it'll look like, um, it'll go at normal pace. If we wanted to move it a little bit faster, we can put 0 0.05, and it'll start moving a little bit faster, and that's the one we're going to be using today. Now, let's stop that. Now, obviously, we don't want to be using all the sprites here. Because let's just say that you're making a game and you want him to, you know, make him uh, kick a certain person or whatever. You want you don't want him to play, you know, do all the costumes in one session. So basically, what we what we do is we go into costumes or what what else you can do? Go into costumes and you pick the costume you want. Let's see. Hmm. All right. Let's just make it so that let's just make it so that he can the little explosion so right here for you oh. oops all right let's go back up to 41 and we can make it so that it looks like that now and now if we go over here we can see it says shadow explosion so we go all the way to the bottom and let's see where it ends right here shadow explosion 34 so now what we're going to want to do is we're, we're going to be wanting to use the repeat function right here. And since it has 34 more costumes, we'll put 34. And then we'll put the same thing, next costume, and then wait 0 0.05 or 0 0.1 as we talked about before. And now whenever we start, oh yes, also we want to put the costume we want to start as as well. So we want to make him kick. Actually, we want to make him explode. Or make him do his little explosion. So let's test this out. We have whenever we put, press the start button, switch costume to explosion. And so this function right here, repeat 34, next costume, and wait 0 0.5 or 0 0.05. We can make it so that he does uh, only the, his explosion thing. As you can see, and that's it. We can make it do it one more time just to check again. And there you go. So this is really the basics of things. If we want to get more advanced, we can make it so that after he does his little explosion, we can make it so that he does a kick. And uh, and we can make we can also make it so that he can move around. But we'll get into uh, we'll get into the next step right now and we'll get into uh, sprites moving around next episode. So basically what we want to do now is we want to find the kick sprite. All right, we'll do up kick Mm, it's right here. All right, up kick. So shadow up kick is the name. And then if we go over here, where does it end? Shadow up kick eight. So that means we're gonna have to repeat it eight times. Now, if it says shadow up kick one, we might have to repeat, uh, do it seven times. But it says eight. So we're gonna have to do it eight times. All right. Where is it? Say so shadow up kick and then repeat eight times. And this time we're gonna 
as they're switching into the next costume, we're going to have it so it can wait and then switch into the next costume. So first we're going to have, uh, have him do his explosion and then do the kick. So let's test this out. Explosion, wait a second, and then up kick. All right. So that's how you make a little, I'm just going to call this a combo, little combo of these two things together. And then we can make it so that he does the same thing again. And we can just by duplicating the same thing and adding it on to the bottom. Explosion, wait, up kick, explosion again, wait, and up kick. So that's the basics of things for now. This isn't that hard to do. If you really need extra help, you can also look it on the Scratch forums. And so uh, that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching.